Hello friends, welcome to this special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. In this assignment, we are going to learn to animate rain. Let's begin by pressing Ctrl N to create a new document. Now draw a circle on the work area, then double click on the outline and delete it. And we form a shape of raindrop by using the selection tool. Please see the video carefully. We have to work in detail on this shape at present only. Next, we minimize the size of the drop by using the free transform tool. Now, we maximize the narrow side of the drop by using the selection tool. Then, we convert it into a symbol. We give the name as raindrop1 and convert it into a graphic. Now, we place the registration point at the center and then click on OK. Next, we again convert it into a symbol by entering into the symbol. We give a name to the symbol. Now we place that symbol outside and above the work area for the first keyframe and place it outside and below the work area on the last keyframe. Now we add motion twin. Next, we switch on the onion skin and select the onion all option by which we can see the in between frames. Now we set the path of it. We can see that it is animating due to the motion twin. Now we insert a new frame on the 10th frame on the main screen, outside the symbol. Now it is animating outside also. Next, press the Alt key and prepare multiple copies of it. We are making duplicates of it and placing them randomly. So, the same animation will play here. When we see all the raindrops falling together, then we can see a better rain animation effect. We will edit some things later to avoid making all the raindrops look similar. Because we have duplicated them, they are all the same, so we can edit a few things and make them look different. Now we select all the objects and then we convert it into one symbol. Now we insert a new keyframe on the 10th frame, shortcut key F5, by entering into a symbol, then we again get back to the main scene. Now, we copy the same symbol and use the paste in place option for that symbol. Ctrl plus Shift plus V. Next, we change the timing of it. Put the time as loop 5 instead of loop 1. We have to prepare more copies like that. We again use paste in place option for the symbol and give the timing as loop 3 to the symbol. We can see the continuous animation by putting the loop 3 always on. Now we prepare one more copy and give the timing as 6. We can see the slight effect of animation here. Now we again use paste in place option and change the timing as 9th frame. Next, we select all the objects and place it at the center of the work area. Then preview it. We can see the slight effect of animation, but still we need to work more to improve the overall effect of rainfall. Next we change the positions of alternate layers, some to the left and some to the right as seen in the video. Because we move the layers a little, the raindrops seem to fall more randomly now and looks more natural. The effect now is better, but we can still improve things. Next, we change the positions of layers to make them more random again. Now we go to the original raindrop and scale down the size of it. We have used this technique many times before when animating fire and smoke etc. where any changes made to the original will instantly apply in all the duplicates. We are moving raindrops more randomly again as seen in the video to make the rainfall look more natural.
we can see a slightly different effect on preview. Now we change the color of the raindrops to white by entering into the symbol. Then go to the document properties and change the background color to blue. Now we can see a nice effect as white raindrops fall on a darker background color. Next, we edit the shape on the first key in the raindrop by entering into the symbol. We have made the symbol duplicate, hence we can edit the shape anytime as it will apply to all the symbols. Now we are coming outside of all the symbols on the main screen and click on the first key. All the symbols get selected. Now convert them again into a single symbol. Copy the symbol by using the right click and again we use the paste in place option. By using the free transform tool, we scale down the symbol and change its position. We can see that there is some depth created in the animation. Here, the animation is not visible because we have to add frames inside the symbol. So, we insert 10 frames. Now we see the animation on preview. The animation looks okay, but the drops that are on the back layers are being overlapped by the front layer drops and we don't want to lose out on those. So, we slightly rotate the main symbol and now we can see the drops that were being overlapped at an angle. Next, we select both the symbols, then use right click and distribute it to layers, then copy the symbol and again use paste in place option and change its position vertically. We are making this for raindrops group 2. Now we can see that the raindrops look dense. Next we go to the group below as raindrops group 2 and then entering into the symbol we can go to the actual graphic. Here we make the raindrops red so that they are better visible than white and easier to edit. We will change them to white again after we are finished with the editing. We scale down the size of the rain by using the free transform tool. Now as you can see in the video that we have stretched the raindrop a little. We have already scaled down the actual size by using the free transform tool. Now we can see on preview, control plus enter, that the effect of the falling raindrops has changed. Now we are going to make just a few more changes to the raindrop shape. Please see the video carefully and follow. Now, we have the white raindrops again and the overall effect looks much better. We can see more force by slightly editing the graphic length. Further, we are adding corners at the curved places and then dragging it. Now we can see a heavier rain effect with faster speed. If you observe closely, small changes you make can change the effect of your animation from a soft rain to a heavier and faster rain. If you experiment with these techniques more, you can come up with even more effects. Thank you.